In this work, we present a temporarily adaptive material point method. Our method can automatically focus computation on stiff or fast-moving regions where small time steps are necessary for stability. Central to temporal adaptivity is our novel asynchronous time integration scheme for MPM. We call our new algorithm the asynchronous material point method, or async MPM for short. Different regions can have different time steps in async MPM. MPM is a hybrid Lagrangian Eulerian method where particles in the background grid coexist. Compared with pure Lagrangian or Eulerian methods such as FEM or SPH, the hybrid nature brings additional challenges when it comes to asynchronous time integration. For example, we cannot use a single particle or grid as a scheduling unit because it will be very slow. That's why we schedule at the block granularity, where particles within small groups of cells are bundled together when integrated. Block dependency is another factor that must be taken into consideration. A future block depends on not only itself, but also its neighborhood in the current time step. We illustrate block dependency in this 1D example. Suppose now we have 1D blocks. The green ones have a four times larger time step than the orange ones. When computing the states of orange blocks in increasing time order, there will be missing blocks when time step switches. That's why we introduce buffer blocks here. They are not accurate themselves, but they provide an accurate boundary condition for the orange blocks. Here we demonstrate buffer block generation in 2D. Again, green blocks have a larger time step. Finally, we have all we need for the scheduler. Let's look at this 1D example. The blue blocks are computed blocks, while the black ones are not yet computed. When there are multiple blocks ready to go, we prioritize those with larger time steps. Note that the new gray blocks are introduced as buffer blocks. When we are done with all the ready-to-compute blocks, we advance the global simulation time step. Note that the buffer blocks make it impossible to continue computing. In this 3D example, we compress elastic balls with different stiffness values. Though async MPM does significantly fewer computations than sync MPM, it leads to visually identical results. Here we show the time step for each block and how they are updated. Consider this example where a pair of storks are simulated using async MPM and traditional sync MPM respectively. Note that async MPM better preserves vibration on the stork's beak and tail. We reproduce the classical rolling snow simulation using sync MPM as reference. Synchronized MPM is computationally expensive because hardened snow imposes a very restrictive time step. Async MPM leads to the same result with substantially less time per frame. Here we compare the two simulations side by side. The speed up of async MPM is due to focused computation on stiff blocks. In this example, a rubber dragon takes a bath from a liquid jet. Note the struggling hands with smaller time steps due to the CFL condition. In sync MPM, however, the fast moving hands will slow down the entire simulation. What can be more enjoyable than a massage after a bath? The time step here is jointly determined by material stiffness and particle velocity. To help us illustrate the usefulness of our method in multi-material simulation, more dragons join the party. Every particle continually gets assigned with the most appropriate time step, and together they step forward stably ever after.